Welcome back. We're just about 90 minutes away from the first 2016 fall presidential debate. We're at Hofstra University campus here in Hempstead, New York. The political media have swarmed and they are ready for a bare knuckle brawl. Tens of millions of people around the country are ready to tune in. Just before the debate, let's take a closer look at some of the polls that show why that real clear politics average is so close. First look at this, a new Bloomberg poll of likely voters, this is nationally, puts Donald Trump two points ahead of Clinton in a four-way race. The Quinnipiac University poll of likely voters has Clinton one point ahead in a four-way race. Thirdly, a new Monmouth poll also of likely voters has Clinton up four points in a four-way race. And finally, this new ABC News Washington Post poll has Clinton ahead two points in a four-way race. All of these polls are well within their margins of error, showing this race is essentially a toss-up. For some thoughts on all this, let's turn to Scott Jennings, who did political analysis in the White House for President George W. Bush. Well, Scott, as you look at those four polls in particular in the race overall, what strikes you? Well, what strikes me tonight is that it is a jump ball heading into the first debate. A lot of movement in these polling uh, numbers tonight is statistical noise because it's inside of a margin of error. However, unmistakably, Donald Trump has moved this thing down to a tie going into the first debate. So it's a huge opportunity for him tonight to try to get over the hump. He's never really gotten over the hump. He's got it to a tie. Uh, but to get over the hump, he needs a presidential moment tonight in this debate and to look presidential. And so that's what he's looking to do. For Clinton, she's trying to arrest Donald Trump's momentum right now. Uh, she's been sliding for the last several weeks. If you like college basketball, I sort of liken it to a team that was up a little bit at the half, and now the other team's on a 12-2 run. They're trying to get a defensive stop and make a couple of buckets to uh, get this game back going in their favor. That's where Clinton is. The crowd's into it for Trump, and, and uh, she's got uh, to get on it because he's moving right now. What factors in your judgment favor Trump? Well, tonight, uh, the onus is on Hillary Clinton uh, to articulate why she's in this race. Uh, she has, she's expected to have command of the facts. She's expected to have command of policy. But what she really lacks right now is a message about why she's in the race. What drives her? What is her passion? People know why Donald Trump's in the race. And so what helps Donald Trump tonight is all the pressures on Hillary Clinton. The polling shows she's slipping that, nationally. Scott, are you saying that, they, that people know why Donald Trump's in the race because he has the slogan... Uh, make America great again, or what exactly do you mean by that? Well, I think people know why he's in the race because of immigration. I think people know why he's in the race because of uh, the simple way he articulates his policies. I don't think there's any mistaking uh, among his supporters why he's running. I think for Hillary Clinton, a lot of folks are struggling to figure out what exactly it is that's driving her. Trump shows passion on the issues he talks about. Clinton does not. She tends to speak very lawyerly, very precise. She doesn't frequently articulate very well about terrorism. A lot of issues trip her up uh, and give people pause about why she's in the race. So that's her challenge tonight, and it helps Trump because he doesn't mistake for passion, and he's really good at articulating his ideas in seven to ten second and, sentences. And, and what, what factors in your judgment favor Mrs. Clinton? Well, what favors Hillary tonight is there's probably not a policy question you could think of she's not been asked before. So she's going to be able to handle the most complicated topics that the moderator can think of. And so for her, she's going to try to use that to trip up Donald Trump. Trump could be stumped if Hillary Clinton plays it right and the moderator asks a question about uh, something that's you know relatively complicated or that you would uh, have a better handle of had you held political office before the way Hillary Clinton has. So her strength tonight, knowledge of policy, the challenge, how do you use it to stump Trump? Trump has been sort of the most explosive uh, of candidates, the most colorful, the most, the most flamboyant in many ways. Would be, he be served by being anything but that tonight? Uh, I think Donald Trump needs to find his presidential moment. I think this is not about policy for him tonight as much as it is allowing people to visualize whether they can see him in the Oval Office. Can they see him as a president? Calling people names, losing your temper, uh, bullying Hillary Clinton. That's not a good look for Donald Trump tonight. I suspect Hillary Clinton will try to bait him into that and try to get back to her message on temperament. He needs to not take the bait. He needs to look presidential, look the part. That's his challenge this evening. Scott, thanks very much.